Okay, I'm going to change the hard drive on this uh, Lenovo T440, um, so ThinkPad. But I just want to show you, this has got a smaller hard drive in it, uh, SSD. So I want to show you how fast it does logging. So I just re-re-re-re-reloaded re re it. Switched on. In a sec. ThinkPad. Windows. And... What's that? Four, five, six, seven, ten seconds. That's the difference. What I am going to do is restart this, show you how to put a new hard drive in it, memory, how to disenable the little 16 gig card on, on the inside, and um, yeah, see how she runs. Well, I'm going to put a bigger 500 gig SSD in this machine. Okay, okay. first thing to do is shut the machine down and then restart it pressing the F12 key. So let's do that now. Power, shut down. You could restart. You have to shut down, you have to go into the BIOS uh, to shut down uh, the, there's an inboard battery, not the battery at the back, this is, there's an inboard battery on this machine and you, you, you need to switch that off. So, power on, F12, missed it, okay. Power off. Power on, straight into F12. We got it this time. Okay. So you've got boot menu, you don't want that. What you want to do there is go across. So you tab it. Okay, app menu, setup, press enter. Okay. And then you want to go to config. Okay. And then you want to come down to power. Press enter. And then what you want to do then is disable built-in battery. And then another will come up and say, system will be powered down if you select yes. Do you want to proceed? Yes. And the whole system will shut down. Then it is safe to take the back off. Okay. Yes. Done. Shut down. So then we'll start disassembling. Okay, first thing to do, remove the battery. So you've got a little pin there, and you have to pull at the same time, a little bit awkward. So that's it. Battery comes out. You have a screw here. My big fat hands in the way. The screws don't all, the, all come all the way out. They're actually fixed into the casing. So you've got one there, 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 up, and I think you've got one, two, three at the front. Can you see them? Okay, so I'll undo them now. You don't want to see that boring bit, and I'll get back to you in two seconds. So turn the laptop round. When you, when the, re, when the screws, when you're undoing them, you'll hear them just clicking because they won't, they can't come out any further. Okay. And then the casing should come off quite simply. Just by running your fingernails along the case. And it should just pop off. If you can see that. If you like your fingernails, don't do this. Use a tool. There we go. There we go. Boop. Flip it over onto the screen side. You might just have to check the screws again. Bear with me. Yep. So as you lift, just make sure the screws are definitely undone. It's that simple. It comes off that easy. Just make sure. There we go. Okay. Put that to one side. Then we have hard drive. 
this is the internal battery and then underneath there I think is the um, little 16 gig card and then underneath this flap here is our memory stick so just peel that back gently Right, damage in it and there we go okay so this has got 8 gig of memory in it already I can't see an expansion slot for more so we might be at a capacity I think that'll be the Wi-Fi okay so taking the hard drive out you have a screw at the front so we undo that I'm trying to do it, sorry, one handed so I don't block the camera. And this should just take the screw out. And it just should just lift up and pull forward. It's that simple. And this is this has already got, I know I said it's already got a solid state drive in it, but I want to re increase it to 400 500 gig. Alright. But this is why it makes them so fast. So that's to replace the solid state drive. And then to remove the battery, internal battery, I think there's three screws. If you can see that, one, two, three. And when you undo these, screw out. Use my hands again. Okay. Third one. Very simple to work on. Very, very simple. Okay, three screws. They're all the same size, so don't worry if you get them mixed up. And then what happens is the battery just comes back, okay? Be careful because it's wired. And there we go. And this one doesn't seem to have the card in it. So I'm not going to worry about that. So we'll put that back together. I suppose the card is optional. As we bought, we bought a bulk of these, so I presume they didn't bother putting the card in. So. And the third one, and then this might sound a bit daft to you. Once you've got your new drive, pretty straightforward, make sure it lines up properly. And just so, what you'd do if you had your new drive, you would take off the outer casing, making sure you know which way you took it off, of course. So, it's the, the top of the hard drive would be facing downwards. So you must remember that, then you take off the case accordingly, fit it to your new hard drive exactly the same way. And all you do then is just gently <sighs> pop it back in, line it up, push it home, pop the screw back in. This is a very, very simple laptop to work on. Sorry about my hands again. Line the screw up. Gently, there we go. That's it really, and you put the case back on again, which is straightforward. So you just pop the case back on again, pop the screws back down, reload windows, one very, very fast laptop. Hope it was any use to anybody. If it was, give us a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind, a like and a share, even subscribe, give us any help. Um, I don't do no donations or anything like that. I just love doing the videos. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one. All the best. Okay, bonus video. While you've got it all apart and you've got the case off, you might as well blow out the fan. I'm not, this is a, a silly one because we've got guns missing. And also, I forgot to mention that when you've got this memory sticking here, if you go to Crucial, Dot com. It's not an advert. I don't have anything to do with them. 
and switch your machine on um go to crucial.com download their memory checker it'll tell you if you can upgrade your memory and you can probably get a bigger stick to go in this is an 8 gig they'll probably get you a 16 gig to go in it if you need to okay so just flip it around a bit more a bit dubious here i know and one more hack when you're using the laptop Underneath here, when you put the case back on again, you've got fins coming out, which shows you where it can suck the air through to keep the CPU cool, which is underneath here. Um, don't take it to bed. Don't put it on a pillow. Put it on a piece of wood or one of those, you can buy one of those, um, what they call them, like a tray with a soft cushion underneath. Make sure this is all clear underneath or you will knacker up your chip. Bonus video. Cheers.